All right, so we're here with Sujay today. Sujay is the winner of, uh, here at Arizona Painting Company, our Young Entrepreneurial Scholarship, sorry, Yes Scholarship. So congratulations, Sujay. Um, why, don't you, why don't you give us just a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the business that you've been uh, working on creating? Yeah, so um, I'm a senior at Base of Scottsdale. Um, I've had so many leadership roles in many organizations, but really recently was Bases Ambassadors, which is our like, college counseling club, where we help support our college counselors, manage all their high schoolers, um, look at all the deadlines, applications, scholarships. I even created a website for our college counseling department so that they can kind of all of our students have access to the same amount of resources and opportunities as everyone else. Um, but with that, I created a, like that website, I also have a scholarship app. And over time, that kind of developed into more of a way to help specific students go through every part of their application. So when you look at what the current solutions are out there right now is just basic spreadsheets. And if you're a high schooler, <laughs> You don't want to use a spreadsheet. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so, no, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and what, what inspired you to create this business? Yeah, so every single day I would be working with my college counselors. I would go to their room during lunch or after school, and I would just see how overwhelmed they were from the sheer volume of applications, students, deadlines, documents, decisions, even parents who are just constantly berating them about you know this and that, about a little bit being anxiety or just you know yeah. pure worry of further students. So all these counselors when actually like a larger issue is that Arizona has the worst student to counselor ratio in the entire country. We have wow. 716 students for one counselor. Like wow. imagine that 716 yeah. students going to one counselor. Like imagine how that counselor feels, yeah. right? So like as, after seeing that and you know, talking with a lot of other counselors and even what the solutions are, because a, a lot of these school boards, they are buying software on, you know, a very high level. So when you actually get to the specifics of what the student sees or what the counselor sees, it's very different from what they've been pitched. Yeah. So they lack a lot of the, you know, support and resources and just like issues that they deal with on a daily mm -hmm. basis. So I, after, you know, seeing all of that and, thinking about what a solution could be, I, I created this software and it's evolved into what it is now and I help you know, a, quite a number of students in different high schools as well as counseling agencies and a few nonprofits. So That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. You saw a need, right? And you've been working toward developing an app to help fill that need and be able to help a lot of students that are going through the same process you're going through right now. Exactly. So that's awesome. Give us, uh, what was you know, maybe one of the most challenging parts of starting this business or maybe getting it going or getting it off the ground? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think like evolving it from something that was just like personally solving my issue to something where I was helping a counselor, you know, with their daily tasks, with the, you know, day-to-day -day struggles that they were facing. That evolution was probably the hardest as I've had to, you know, I can't just imagine myself as a counselor and then, oh, what could the perfect solution be? I have to actually talk with them and learn what they're lacking. And so that development by like talking and, you know, just going on the grind of, of reaching out and cold emailing counselors and seeing what their struggles were like, and then, you know, making new solutions that would you know, automate a lot of the day-to-day -day tasks is it's probably the hardest challenge. And then, you know, just scaling it from there. Yeah. Yeah, starting a, a business, you know, at, at any age, whether you're 17 or whether you're 50 years old, is very challenging. Exactly. Right? Starting, you have yeah. no customers, nobody knows who you are. Um, very challenging. So kudos to you for getting it just even to this point. You know, it's <laughs> awesome. Um, what do you so far? You know, what do you like, love, or, or like about being a, an entrepreneur or a business owner? Um, I think, like, being a solopreneur is has its perks and its downsides. I think, like. I'm very integrated with all sides of the product, like how I sell it, how I pitch it, what the features are, and then how I develop those features from talking with directly with consumers. So I think like having that almost like complete affiliation with the entire product from start to finish is what I love the most. But like, you know, on the downsides, I'm, I'm by myself, right? Like I, I reach out to my, you know, business friends or business savvy friends, but they're all like ambitious in their own ways, right? So. 
when I, when it comes down to it, I'm still like, you know, on this self journey so, and, you know, personal reflection of what the best product is for me and, and the best product for others. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And you, you really, uh, the great part is that, you know, you can't get mad at anybody for not working hard enough, right? Yeah. Cause it's on you at the end of the <laughs> yeah. day. Yeah. You gotta get mad at yourself. Um, but the downside is yes, you don't have a team that you're working through that you can get so much more done by having more people all working towards the same goal. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's a great, I mean, I would say a great starting point. You can learn so much, you know, first doing it yourself and before bringing on a team. Yeah. So very cool. What, um, you know, where do you see yourself? Let's say, you know, in, in your business or just maybe in life in the next five years, like where do you, you hope to be five years from now? Well, um, on the business side, I'm like almost finished with like a mobile app that would probably deploy on the app store and uh, Google play store. Um, but other than that, I also have a Chrome extension. So, you know, just that constant iterative development of what the product looks like and how it's usable for, um, the consumers and, you know, end users. But in five years, I kind of envision myself, you know, starting a, you know, it's a complicated question. Like, I, I think like, I would like to say that I'm in like a big corporate boardroom and like, executing these giant operational challenges and yeah. figuring stuff out or saving other companies and doing corporate turnarounds. Like, I'd love to say that, but you know, you never know. Yeah. Um, I think like even it could even be something where I found, find my co-founder and create another company or this company scales to a point where I bring on more people and, you know, uh, like do a nationwide kind of deployment where, it becomes like a daily thing for parents and their students as they go through high school, because something that's lacking is ninth graders are completely confused. They, mm -hmm. they go into high school and they're just like, Oh, I'm in a new school. I'm with new people, new yep. counselors, new parents. Like, it's just like, it's a confusing world. And if I can figure out a solution that helps all of that, that's, that's the end goal. Yeah. I love it. Love the vision, you know, and just you being at your age, having a, you know, a big, goal and dream of where you want to be, where you hope to be in the next five years, that sets you apart from, I think, 99% of other seniors in high school, you know, honestly, you know, I yeah. remember being in high school and half the kids were thinking about what they were going to do that weekend. They weren't thinking five years down the road or have any idea what yeah. they were going to do. So yeah, very cool. All right. Last one. Um, you know, just give us, you know, obviously you're the, you're a winner of our scholarship. Um, what, you know, what are you going to, you might've answered a little bit with the last question, but What's your plan for, for the money you're, you're going to win, right? Your $500 check we're presenting you with today. What are you going to be able to take that to use to help your business continue to grow? Yeah, I think um, as soon as like I'm done with my college applications, because that's in front of mine right now, because that's, that's determining the next four years of where this project goes and where I go. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I really want to you know, go on the hustle where I'm, reaching out to more counselors, counseling agencies, nonprofits, as I said before, you know, kind of expanding, not just from Arizona, but like California and yeah. where it's, you know, quite amount, like the problem is huge in Arizona, but imagine California where the That's population is, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And counselors, like if you don't have a good counselor at school, you have to pay a lot of money to get a good, like private college counselor. Mm -hmm. That's sim simply unaffordable for, most, if not all students, yeah. like even, even for me, like I, I come from a good background, but it's still very un unaffordable. Mm -hmm. Um, so like with, with this $500, I hope to kind of, uh, improve the way that I, my current product. You. Okay. So I have to Sorry. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's good. We'll Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, we'll cut it out. Yeah. You're good. Um, where should I, start? Should, where should I start? Mm -hmm. Um, just say with this $500. Yeah. So, um, with this $500, I'm planning on expanding, like how my product integrates with a lot of other tools. Um, every single, almost every single university and college in the United States uses a platform called common app. So I hope to integrate tools like that. Naviance, which is owned by power school, which al almost every public high school in Arizona uses. Okay. So yeah. if I integrate with those tools, then it just makes it that much more easier for counselors and students to start using my product and, you know, helping them through the process. 